Hi there, welcome to our Biconomy channel. As we already know, Biconomy provides meta transactions and scalable relayer infrastructure for a seamless user experience. So today we will discuss and show you how you can integrate Biconomy in your dApp and give your user a gasless experience. So, in order to integrate Biconomy in your dApp first, let's go to dashboard.biconomy.io and register my account with email ID and a password. After registration, you will be redirected to the Biconomy dashboard. Next step is to verify your mail id through OTP which will be sent your email ID with you have registered on the dashboard. After successful verification now it's time to register your first app. Click on the register button, give a name to your dApp, select the network you are building on and click on save. Now click on view dApp to add smart contract. On the dashboard, you have a limit module, where you can set limits based on per dApp or per user or per API here, you can edit the limits in order to prevent the misuse by the user. Further, now let's add the smart contract by clicking on add contract. Give contract name, address and the ABI, then click on save. Congratulations, you just added your first smart contract, now let's go to the Manage API section and register the methods on which you want to enable meta transaction. That's it. These are the only steps you need to do to register your dApp on Biconomy platform. Just copy the API key from View dApp page. This will be used when we will integrate Biconomy SDK in the code. Okay, now let's move on to the next part which is SDK integration in your code. First, let's install the SDK in your project. After the SDK is installed, the second step is to import Biconomy in your code. Initialize Biconomy object using the provider URL and the API key which we have copied from the dashboard. Now pass this Biconomy object in the Web3 object. Next, you just need to do one last step. Write your code inside Biconomy, ready section. Biconomy, on event will check if the Biconomy object is initialized properly or not. In case of error, handle error in Biconomy, error section. Great. Now you have successfully integrated Biconomy in your code. Now just initiate your transaction and provide your users with gasless and seamless transactions. Thank you for watching. In case of issues, reach out to us on below channels.